After years of criticism, the state of Washington completed its first encampment removal along I-5 without any help from the city of Seattle. And it could mark a turning point in the governor's commitment that the state will no longer tolerate people living along the highway. Thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Jamie Tompkins. And I'm Matthew Smith. Reporter Matt Markovich is live in the newsroom with the announcement of a new hotel for the homeless and some perspective on this camp removal. Yeah, Matt, this was a small camp of five people, but the state did all the coordination, organized the outreach, and did the removal assisted by the state patrol. That hasn't happened before in the years I've been covering homelessness. Along a busy I-5 on-ramp from Olive Way, something different. This is the first one. An encampment removal with the state running the show. Until now, it's always been the city of Seattle as the lead. This was kind of a, a test case, and uh, so yeah, we should be seeing more of this. The governor and Washtenaw have long been criticized for not managing encampments along state-owned highways. We have to move more quickly and compassionately. Now with a new sense of urgency and millions of dollars, the governor and Washtenaw have made camp removal a high priority. Instead of Seattle police officers, state patrol will be on hand if things go sideways, which did not happen here. Four of the five people living here accepted offers of housing. All were gone by the time the removal began. Why here first? The equipment that runs the roadway is usually on the shoulders out here. So fencing is going up to prevent further camping. This is the fifth building. In North Seattle, the former extended stay suites, purchased in part by a King County sales tax increase, will open this week. Moving in will be people at the Red Lion Inn in Renton, which is where those from the problematic downtown Seattle shelter across from the courthouse have been staying since COVID. Sounds like musical chairs, because it is. It's the purpose of the King County Regional Homelessness Authority to take over shelter and housing placements, but those living along the highways won't be going here. Our goal is to make sure that the local community where these buildings are uh, get priority, that folks are able to come in off the streets there. That goal is to house the hotel 30% with locally homeless. But for cities contributing to the authority and doing their own outreach, it's 65%. The problem, only one of the county's 39 cities are contributing funds to the authority, and that's Seattle. Quite frankly, just addressing the elephant in the room. A frustrated Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell wants those cities, the elephant, to contribute to the authority. The authority is asking for an additional $90 million to spend next year, and it's unlikely to get it unless those cities contribute. But they also know that there's nowhere near that amount of money available between the county, the city, and other sources. The reality is there's political pressure from the authority's two biggest funders, King County and Seattle, to get the other cities to pay up. Are you willing to call out these cities, though, for not contributing by name? I'm willing to continue inviting them to fully participate in the homeless effort. And the authority did help with placement of four people in that camp into shelter. The state is not going to publicize when it will be doing camp removals along the highway, but it will be giving campers a 72-hour warning notice. Back to you.